Good morning. Today is August 29, 2022, and I'm going to try a new format this time. I'm going to, I have already gone to the review, and as you can see over here, I have uh, quite a few turnovers over here, and I'm going to see if I can do a puzzle for the day. So, uh, let's see what happens, and let me know if this is something you like to do. Here's the first entry. Uh, no, no, this is the first entry. There we go. And it says, this is a blunder. This is a serious mistake. And the question is, what would I need to do as black in order to win the material? So, black to move. and win in, let's see, one, two, three, four moves. So, black to win in four moves. Let's give you some time over here. Okay, ready? Next. Next piece, this one right here. This one is an easy one. White to uh, black to move. Oops. Black to move. Uh, wait a minute. Black to move and win. In one. I suppose I should hide this thing over here because it, this does tell you the answer. Anyway. Let's start. First move right here. And that's basically decent move. Speaking of which, uh, this is the modern defense with e4 opening. You play this opening 294 times. Obviously, that's uh, my favorite opening with a 46% win rate. And that was better before, it was just like 30% something. 30 something percent. So I'm improving over here. The danger here is pawn takes this pawn. And if pawn takes this pawn, this pawn is going to forward and attack this position. And that's not good. So I have to do something about this one. Next move. And he could have uh, attacked it, but he decided to go down. Lock. Next move. Again, locking. Attack, counter attack, locking. Attack, counter uh, defense, lock. And this is a very interesting move because suddenly you get to see everything is locked over here. Now, whereas white, the position isn't exactly locked because you got opening here and here. So uh, that's that's a gap. But if uh, er, this goes on forever, that basically the playfield is going to be locked and there's no chance of winning. So my strategy is to basically practice open and have the rook over here attack that one. Because the bishop here is up, absolutely not going to move until these points get liquidated. So let's see what happens. Next move. And that's my attack right here. And that's attacking with the knight because I'm hoping to exchange the knight and then the bishop will take this one and skewer the knight over here for the rook. Next move. 
and I win a pawn, one pawn, but I win it. And my idea is to keep attacking this knight. Uh, however, there is a better way to do it. So, well, we'll see what happens. Next move. And that's a blunder. And that's a mistake also because there's a better way to develop. And this is a blunder. And as you can see, this is the position that I showed you earlier and there is a win in four moves and I'll just let the computer show it to you oops not this one this one yep that's that's move number one two three and that's it well I guess that's move mid, uh, win material in three move so because otherwise, you know, because otherwise it could have been something like this, and then uh, pointed one. So, yeah, so but that's the solution to the puzzle. Next move, and now another pawn. Uh, this move is very annoying for white and for some reason the last few games I keep noticing one single piece going deep into enemy territory and as you can see this is the lone piece right here unsupported anywhere whereas white has all these uh, pieces jumbled together and that one over here so that's <laughs> for some reason maybe I need to change my tactics or something Next move. And that's a mistake, of course, because you're exchanging uh, the bishop for a pawn, but it got closed off and I cannot escape. So basically, either take that pawn or take this pawn. And I probably should have put this thing up. Uh, for puzzle as well it would be this part right here uh, black two move and pin a piece in one move so I should have done this also and over here of course there's a uh, problem of what's attacking this one over and I could have basically take this one attacking the knight and the rook so what will save the rook and play the knight and save the pawn so let's see what happens and Mr. something to capture an undefended piece this one says to capture an undefended piece which would be this one Oh, no, that's for the white. Uh, so, this one right here, undefended piece. And this one. Uh, so, I have to do it earlier, like this one. Next, excellent. What's the best move? Oh, that's the best move. So, the pawn is those anyway. Mm, okay. Next move. And then I save the pawn right here. The king could have moved there. And then I will not be able to save this pawn, but I will be able to take that pawn. So that was the idea. But since the king moved there, I get to save this pawn, which is right here. And then I save the pawn. Not exactly because it reads the rooks, but trading room is good for me because suddenly this piece will become powerful as soon as I get it out of there. 
So, next move. And now the bishop get activated. And as you can see from the points here, I'm winning very much. I'm very much winning over here. And as long as I do not pick any plunders, which I did not, this will win the day. Anyway, next move. And this is a very nice position right here, because remember, the bishop is diagonal like that. So I can take the bishop here and put it over there, and suddenly it's just a discovered check right there. Next move. And that's a very strong position right there. The pawn and bishop uh, takes care of each other, so the rook cannot do anything but that. If there's any danger, it's going to come from the pawn over here and take that. So that's like the only way why that's danger. But I'm not worried about that because if white does that, that's a mistake. What should have tried to put that one into promotion rather than attacking the pawn, basically. So, next move. And I have a question should I take it with the king? Should I take it with the rook? Taking it with the rook means I can basically cut this square. So, if pawn goes here, that's covered. In the meantime, I have a pawn of here that can go forward. So that's why I do it that way. Next move. And that's Mr. That's the second uh, puzzle that I showed you earlier. So this time, the next move it should be easy because check fork the rope and I win the game. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.